Welcome to the Recap, the show that covers the highlights and lowlights of the Versus Softball team. In today's episode, we'll be covering Game 8 as the 6 and 1 Versus Softball team goes up against the long ball hitting 5 and 2 BNV team. And to the highlights, we go! Top of 1, BNV starts the game with a leadoff over the fence home run. But thanks to a pair of great defensive plays, that lone run was all that BNV would collect. Lucy made the first such play by snagging a screaming line drive hit into shallow center field, while John made a sliding catch of a flare hit into shallow left field, retiring the side. Here is what the duo had to say after the inning. No, no, that's okay. When I lose the catch... You made a great catch in there, short center field, line drive right at you, caught it. What were your comments and how do you feel after making that catch? I feel okay, but I don't look good. <laughs> Thank you, though. So John, uh, you made a diving catch there in left field. Diving, sliding, diving. Yeah, sliding, diving catch. You get the grass things there, show for it. I had to make up for the other one I didn't get before. I couldn't, having trouble tracking them out there, but I appreciate it. All right. In the bottom half of the first inning, the team rallied. Vicky and John got the action going with back-to-back leadoff singles, putting runners on first and second base. They are followed by Jay, who rips a hit into right field allowing Vicky and John to score, and yielding Jay a 2-RBI triple. Jay is then driven home by a Macaulay RBI single, making it 3-1 Vertices. Later that inning, with Macaulay and Wally on board, Claffy rips a hit into right field, allowing Kevin and Wiley to score, while yielding Claffy a 2-RBI triple. Claffy was later driven home on a Bill Kelly RBI single, making it 6-1 Vertices. Later that inning, Vertices loads the bases for Tom Cotton, who connects for a base hit into center field. Lucy, who was on second base, is waved in to score, along with Awal, who is tailing close behind her. As the runners approach home plate, the ball is then thrown to a fielder covering the plate. However, the fielder mishandles the throw. The ball hits the ground, bounces off Lucy's leg, and is deflected towards the backstop, thus allowing Lucy and Awal to score. Tom takes third base on the play for a bases loaded clearing triple. That would be the final scoring play of the rally, but it gives Versus a commanding 9-1 lead after one inning. In the bomb half of the second inning, the Versus offense would threaten once again. Godwin gets on board with a single, as does Anderson with a two-out double into right field. This sets the stage for Jay, who hits a long fly ball into left field but the ball is caught on the warning track to end the inning. B&V reclaims two runs in the top of the third inning, but is denied a third run thanks to a play at the plate. The play starts off with a B&V batter hitting a ball past the versus defense in left field. The speedy batter runner circles first and second base, but stops after rounding third base when Kevin, who is covering third base, feels a ball thrown to him by the versus outfielders. Then suddenly, the batter runner continues to home plate. With Spears covering home, Kevin throws the ball to Spears, putting the batter runner in a pickle. Spears chases after the runner and tags him for the out, thus denying the batter an inside the park home run. Here's what Spears had to say after making the play. So that was a John to Kevin to Spears to deny a guy of a uh, inside the park home run. So what was your thoughts on that final tag there, the pickle between home and third? Well, it was perfect timing by Kevin. I thought for a second there that maybe it was a little bit too late. No, just in time. Didn't see the. I don't think the runner saw Kevin throw the ball, and so he was just catch right. it, look up. He's right there for a hug. <laughs> And you gave him the hug and show a lot of love. Huh? Exactly, and then the inning's over. So it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay. Love and the end of the inning. All right. In the bomb half of the third inning, Spears falls with a two-run inside the park home run of his own. Here's what Spears had to say after making the hit. I, mean, so, hit. I love it. Does this team have an oxygen tank? Oh, oh my god. So so now you just hit an inside the park home run. You um hit down the line. Oh, that's, oh, that's another good that's hit. Another one right there, but that's a nice hit though. Yeah. Well, it was too close for comfort. I'd give it the first slide. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Right yeah. There we go, kid, there we go, Davey. All right, so you hit the ball down the line. You, you were running a third, and then you just did, I'm going to go all the way. 
You know, I just I I got the third and then I stumbled a little bit. Everybody's going, go, come on, come on. And I'm like, okay. You only live once here. All right. Yeah. This is Virtus' softball. You gotta go big or you gotta go yeah. home. Yeah. The key. You have five losing seasons, we're just no going back now. Exactly. Once, <laughs> I, once I had that 5% in my mind. Wow. The what? Once I had the 5% idea in my mind, it was over. I committed. <laughs> it worked, so. It worked. As you can tell from the video, Claffy falls with a triple and then scores on a Bill Kelly RBI single. And so after three, Versus has a 12-3 lead. A bit of controversy occurred in the top half of the fourth inning. With two runners on, a B&V batter hits a ball down the left field line. John makes a sliding attempt at the ball, but is unable to make the play. Because the foul lines were not marked, it was difficult to tell in real time whether the ball was fair or foul. It was also unclear as to whether or not the ball hit John's glove. By painting an estimate of where the foul lines were, photographic evidence appears to show that the ball was foul, but alone is not definitive. In the end, B&V successfully argued the ball fair, and ended up collecting two runs on the play. Later that inning, with a runner on first base, a B&V batter hits the ball past Claffey in center field. The runner tries for a triple, pushing the lead runner to home plate. Aware of this, Claffey and Jay relay the ball to Spears, covering home. With the runner a few paces ahead of home plate, Spears applies the tag, thus retiring the side. Here's what Spears had to say after making that play. Oh, oh we was going to talk about your uh, four shot of third plate again. You that. had two of those today. You just got one in the last inning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten lucky. I've been in the right place at the right time. Yeah. yeah we're just There's a lot of action in between third and home right now. And yeah. I'm the recipient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the most just action I've gotten all season. Gonna be, uh... In the bomb half of the fourth inning, the fans were treated to a play of incredible defensive effort by B&V. Tom Cotton steps to the plate and hits a fly ball deep into left center field. A B&V outfielder chases after the ball and leads up in the air and over the fence to try and catch the ball. The fielder lands on some saplings growing along the fence, which in turn hold him up and prevent him from falling over the fence. Though the fielder appeared to have had a glove on the ball, he did not as it was lost in the woods behind him. In the end, Tom connects for an over-defense home run, which is his second of the season. Here's what Tom had to say after making the hit. So Tom, he hit a home run, he went to the fielder's glove, he went right into the bushes and it still wasn't enough, they went right over him. But he went into the bushes trying to catch that ball, so what are your thoughts on that, uh, the hit and the try? That was a good effort on his part. Killer hit. All right. Better man won that one. That's right. <laughs> Did you bring the camera out there with you? Uh, yes. For right on right, the scene and coverage? Almost, nice almost catch. Yeah. As for the fielder, he had some scrapes and a few rosebush thorns stuck in him, but was otherwise okay. Here's our media team's award-winning interview with the fielder after nearly making a home run robbing catch. All right, so you, you almost made a great catch there in the outfield. This is the best catch of the year. Almost, so, almost, catch of the year. almost. Yeah. Come on, do it. Let's go. Yeah, uh, well, you're going to take the camera. i gotta, I got to go. Okay, now, excuse me. Yeah, we got no time. It's getting dark. I just want to interview go. you. Yeah. Okay, no time. Thank you. Uh, how do you shut this off? Okay, how do you shut this off? After four, it's 13-6, to six, Vertices. In the fifth inning, B&V scored three runs to cut Vertices' lead down to four. B&V's run production came off of a pair of home runs, one to left field and the other to right field. The latter was their fourth of the game. B&V is held to just a run in the sixth inning thanks to some defensive plays by Vertices. In the inning, John catches a deep fly ball on the warning track in left field, possibly robbing the batter of a home run. Later that inning, with two outs and a base runner on first, a B&V batter hits a grounder through the infield and into left field. John fields the ball and fires it to Jay. The lead base runner continues to advance and is charging towards home plate. Jay fires the ball to Spears, who is covering home. Spears, the base runner, and the ball all meet ahead of home plate, where Spears applies a tag to retire the side. Uh, again. Here's what Spears had to say after making the play. So, Dr. Wiley, that, this is a trifecta. Three, three times out. The charm. Yes. I'll charm every time. The, the, very, um, very amazing. I don't think I've ever seen that before, professional or otherwise. Three outs at home plate. <laughs> like that. I almost, almost took my arm off on that one, doing right in front of the guy, but. Wow. It's not every time. But I'll be feeling that one tomorrow. Yeah, but it gets the highlight rail. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Yeah. I'm here for the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> 
Verus is followed by scoring two runs in their half of the sixth inning. Kevin hit a leadoff triple and scored on a Wiley RBI single. Wiley then scored on a Claffey RBI triple, making it 15-10 Verdes' after six. Down by five in the top of the seventh, the B&V offense clashed with a defiant versus defense. Claffey caught a deep fly ball into center field to record the first out of the inning. Later that inning, Bill Kelly caught a sack fly ball into right field, allowing a B&V base runner to score. B&V scored two more runs after hitting their fifth over defense home run of the game into left field. But in the end, the versus defense would prevail. Kevin and Spears connected for a 6-3 force out to end the game. And so, despite a valiant last effort, the versus defense holds against the long ball hitting B&V Jodernaut to win 15-13. Here are some interesting facts from today's game. Dave Claffey hit three triples in the game, which is a single game franchise record. The versus defense made three plays at the plate, which is also a single game franchise record. And with the win, the team collects their seventh win of the season, which is a single season franchise record. After the game, team co-captain Awal talks with reporters about an injury he sustained during the game. How are you, how are you doing? All right, so Andy, you are, um, you got hurt running into this bench right here. Explain what happened. Well, Al, Lucio was on deck, so I was the next batter. So what I did was, um, and I had this camera in my hand, so what I did was I, I went to put this camera down and go grab my helmet and my batting equipment and my bat. And the problem was I was walking like this, not observing where I was walking, and then pow, my uh, left, sh uh, right shin hit hit right here on the uh, bench. So are you okay, Mr. Wall? Um, I'm okay. We can take a look to you. There's a bruise here. Oh boy, yeah, I got a bad bruise there. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's a good thing we have a week and a half to our next game. Okay, Mr. Wall, thank you. You need, uh, you need a tan. Would you like to comment on Andy's uh, how he hurt himself in the dugout? <laughs> He's a klutz. He's a klutz. That was a fun game. Needs full armor. Full body armor. Okay. And so that concludes our coverage. Once again, the final score. Virtus is 15, Bean B 13. From all of us at VersusSoftball.com, we thank you for watching. Welcome to the recap, the show that covers the highlights and low, and low lights. <laughs>